During the 1800s, the Wild West stood as an untamed frontier where outlaw gangs roamed without restraint. This era was marked by the presence of both heroes and villains, adventure and danger. Remarkably, there are surviving photographs from this bygone time that provide a unique glimpse into an often romanticized period of American history. Take a moment to explore these captivating photos from the old Wild West and consider if they might challenge some of your preconceived notions about this period in American history. Annie Oakley, a true icon of the Wild West, remains etched in history as one of its most celebrated sharpshooters. Born in the rural heart of Ohio in 1860, her remarkable journey to fame began with a local marksmanship competition where her extraordinary shooting skills first caught the public's eye. Oakley's talents eventually led her to join Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, a decision that would propel her into the limelight. As part of the show, she enthralled sold-out audiences not only across the United States but also in Europe, captivating spectators with her incredible marksmanship prowess. Yet, it wasn't just her shooting abilities that left a lasting impression. Annie Oakley was equally renowned for her quick wit and unflinching bravery, qualities that endeared her to fans and admirers alike. Over time, she rose to become one of the most sought-after and beloved attractions in the entire country. Even after her passing in 1926, her legend continued to grow, cementing her status as an enduring symbol of the Wild West's indomitable spirit. Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show The late 19th century saw the emergence of one of the era's most beloved and captivating attractions, Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show. Established in 1883 by the legendary William Cody, this show took the nation by storm. Its cast featured a diverse ensemble of cowboys, Native Americans, and skilled horses, all coming together to perform an array of thrilling tricks and reenactments of renowned battles. In a time when the American West remained largely uncharted and mysterious to many, Buffalo Bill's Wild West show provided a window into the lives of the region's rugged inhabitants. Audiences were treated to a vivid portrayal of the West's essence, offering both entertainment and education. Beyond its sheer entertainment value, the show played an essential role in fostering a deep sense of national pride. As one newspaper astutely noted, the success of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show is a tribute to American ingenuity and enterprise. It stood as a testament to the nation's boundless spirit of innovation and entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on American culture and history. Life as a cowboy. Life on the range was often a solitary affair, with the vast expanse of land stretching endlessly in every direction. Mornings would begin before the break of dawn, where the first order of business was kindling a fire and brewing a pot of much-needed coffee. Afterward, it was time to saddle up a trusty steed and embark on a day-long odyssey, herding cattle from one pasture to another. Navigating this rugged terrain came with its own challenges, as there were no roads to follow. The cowboy's compass was the sun by day and the stars by night, with getting lost a real concern that might keep you wandering until the arrival of spring. Mother Nature had her own share of harsh lessons to impart. The scorching heat of summer contrasted sharply with the bone-chilling cold of winter. Indeed, surviving as a cowboy demanded a level of resilience that matched the unforgiving landscape. Yet, this life wasn't all toil and solitude. There were moments of exhilaration and camaraderie to be found. Local rodeos offered thrilling competitions like bronco riding and steer wrestling, where cowboys could showcase their prowess and prove their mettle. After a grueling day on the trail, evenings might be spent engaged in a spirited game of poker under the glittering canopy of stars. And when, after weeks of solitude, a cowboy finally rode into town, the local saloon beckoned with the promise of a well-deserved respite, complete with a few rounds of cold beer. So yes, life as a cowboy came with its share of hardships, but it was also an existence brimming with excitement, adventure, and undeniable fun. Cowboy fashion. When you conjure an image of a cowboy, what comes to mind? Perhaps a rugged figure atop a horse, galloping across the expansive plains, someone skillfully herding cattle or rounding up stray sheep. 
cowboys undeniably hold an iconic place in American history. But have you ever wondered about the specifics of their appearance? To begin with, cowboys were known for their practical attire, carefully chosen to withstand the rigors of long days in the saddle. This ensemble typically consisted of a sturdy button-down shirt, durable denim jeans, and a wide-brimmed hat, offering protection from the relentless sun. Footwear was of utmost importance as well, serving both comfort and function. Their boots needed to provide a secure grip on the stirrups while entering the muck and manure of the open range. Many cowboys also favored the addition of a bandana, often tied around their necks. These versatile pieces of fabric served a multitude of purposes, from wiping away sweat to acting as makeshift bandages for any unexpected injuries. When it came to their trusty steeds, cowboys were discerning in their choices. They required horses that were not only robust enough to endure a full day's ride, but also agile enough to navigate the hazards of stampedes and rough terrain. This preference led many cowboys to opt for breeds like the Quarter Horse or the Appaloosa. And of course, every cowboy worth their salt possessed a reliable lasso by their side, a tool indispensable for wrangling runaway calves or redirecting stray cattle back onto the designated trail. So, there you have it, the quintessential cowboy look. Whether you encounter them in movies or in real life, these individuals, occasionally including women, are undeniably part of the rich tapestry of American legend, Battle of Little Bighorn. In June of 1876, an alliance of Lakota and Cheyenne warriors, under the leadership of Chiefs Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse, achieved a resounding victory over the 7th Cavalry Regiment of the United States Army. This pivotal encounter, known as the Battle of Little Bighorn or Custer's Last Stand, left an indelible mark on the annals of the American West. While the Lakota and Cheyenne would eventually face surrender, the battle itself was a momentous triumph for Native Americans. It served as a testament to the exceptional skill and unwavering courage of the Lakota and Cheyenne warriors, while severely tarnishing the reputation of the U.S. Army. The Battle of Little Bighorn holds a place of prominence in American history, standing out as one of its most renowned and memorable conflicts. Big Nose Kate a prominent figure in the American West, originally hails from Ireland, where she was born in 1846 before immigrating to the United States during her youth. In her early days, Kate gained notoriety as a dance hall girl and later as a prostitute, leaving a lasting mark on the history of the Wild West. Her most enduring legacy, however, is her relationship with Doc Holliday, a connection forged in Tombstone, Arizona. Their bond was marked by tumultuous ups and downs, yet it endured until Holiday's passing in 1887. Remarkably, Kate outlived Holiday by many years, ultimately passing away in 1940 at the remarkable age of 94. Throughout her remarkable life, Kate was celebrated for her sharp wit and a tongue as quick as lightning. Her colorful personality solidified her status as one of the most vivid and unforgettable characters in the annals of the American West. Soiled doves. People flocked to Galveston from all corners of the country, drawn by the city's allure of wealth and excitement. However, it was only the most beautiful women who managed to persevere amidst the intense competition. These women, often referred to as soiled doves, engaged in the business of selling affection in 15-minute intervals. Those who were considered less attractive tended to make their way to the Wild West. Operating under the guidance of madams, these ladies paid rent and surrendered a substantial 40% of their earnings as commission. They followed a rigorous schedule, working for three weeks straight and then enjoying a single week off. A single night could involve catering to as many as 25 clients, with potential earnings reaching up to $450 per week, equivalent to around $4,000 in today's currency. Their lives were far from easy, marked by constant harassment from law enforcement, risks of venereal diseases, and the ever-present threat of violence. Despite the relatively high wages, suicide was a tragic reality, often stemming from desperate attempts to induce abortion by consuming toxic substances like mercury. As they grew older, 
these women were compelled to relocate to less prestigious establishments where their earnings were significantly reduced. Shootout at the OK Corral On October 26, 1881, an infamous gunfight unfolded in Tombstone, Arizona, forever etching its place in history as the shootout at the OK Corral. The confrontation ignited when Ike and Billy Clanton, accompanied by several other men, adamantly refused to relinquish their firearms as instructed by the town marshal. Heated words were exchanged, tensions escalated, and eventually, the marshal resorted to opening fire. In retaliation, the Clantons and their associates returned fire, resulting in the swift demise of three men and the injury of three others. The entire skirmish unfolded in a mere 30 seconds, but its reverberations would resonate for many decades to come. The shootout at the OK Corral has solidified its status as one of the most renowned incidents in the annals of the American Old West. San Francisco, during the Gold Rush. San Francisco, a city perpetually marked by its capacity for transformation, has a rich history of change and adaptation. In the early 1800s, it existed as a tranquil, unassuming outpost. However, the momentous discovery of gold in 1848 ignited a profound metamorphosis, catapulting San Francisco into the ranks of bustling metropolises. This watershed event triggered an extraordinary influx of fortune seekers, with thousands converging upon the city in pursuit of their golden dreams. Over the ensuing years, San Francisco underwent a rapid and dramatic evolution. By the year 1852, it had burgeoned into the largest city in California, boasting a population that exceeded 20,000 inhabitants. The gold rush wasn't merely a catalyst for population growth, it was a catalyst for diversity. As prospectors from far and wide journeyed to San Francisco, they brought with them a rich tapestry of cultures and traditions. The city's streets buzzed with the vibrant convergence of people from varied backgrounds, resulting in a uniquely diverse and dynamic urban landscape. Even in the contemporary era, the indomitable spirit of the gold rush era continues to course through the veins of San Francisco. It's a city that thrives on change, embodying the energy and dynamism that have defined its history for generations. Homesteaders in the Wild West. The era of the Old West epitomized exploration and adventure, with homesteaders emerging as pivotal figures in the unfurling of the frontier. While homesteading presented formidable challenges, often fraught with peril, it bestowed families with the opportunity to claim their own land and embark on a new life. For countless homesteaders, the westward journey commenced with an arduous trek along overland trails. These brave pioneers confronted a multitude of obstacles en route, enduring the rigors of unforgiving weather conditions and the scarcity of essential resources. Upon reaching their intended destination, homesteaders faced the formidable task of constructing homes and fences, cultivating crops, and grappling with the persistent threats posed by pests and predators. It was undoubtedly a demanding existence, but one that many families embraced wholeheartedly, driven by the dream of attaining ownership of a slice of the American West. Bill Doolin dead. Bill Doolin, a notorious figure of the American Old West, was a prominent outlaw and leader of the Wild Bunch Gang. Born in Arkansas in 1858, he eventually drifted into a life of crime, participating in numerous bank and train robberies throughout Oklahoma and the surrounding territories. Doolin's criminal activities brought him into direct conflict with law enforcement, and he gained a reputation as one of the most wanted men in the region. However, his life of crime was cut short on August 25, 1896, when he met his demise in a dramatic shootout with U.S. Deputy Marshals in Lawson, Oklahoma. The gunfight that took place that day marked the end of Bill Doolin's criminal career, as he succumbed to his injuries. His death marked the closing chapter in the life of a notorious outlaw who had terrorized the American West during the late 19th century, Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane, an iconic figure of the American Wild West, remains etched in history for her extraordinary life and remarkable skills. Born in Missouri in 1852, Jane's journey westward began in search of thrilling adventures, which she found aplenty. 
Initially, she earned her living as a stagecoach driver and eventually took on the role of a scout for the United States Army. During her time as a scout, Calamity Jane gained notoriety for her involvement in skirmishes with Native Americans, showcasing her tenacity and courage. In 1876, fate brought her to Deadwood, South Dakota, where she crossed paths with the legendary Wild Bill Hickok. Their friendship blossomed quickly, but tragedy struck when Hickok was tragically gunned down only a few months later. This event left a lasting impact on Jane, who continued to lead an adventurous life but carried with her the memory of her dear friend, Wild Bill. Tombstone, Arizona. Tombstone, Arizona is renowned as a quintessential Wild West town, and rightfully so. During the heyday of the Old West, it earned a notorious reputation as one of the most lawless and untamed settlements luring a motley crew of outlaws, gunslingers, and adventurous souls. What cemented its place in history was the infamous gunfight at the O.K. Corral, an event that added another layer to its already colorful lore. Today, Tombstone has transformed into a bustling tourist destination, allowing visitors to step back in time and experience the Wild West for themselves. The town has admirably preserved many of its original buildings, including the iconic O.K. Corral, offering ample opportunities for people to immerse themselves in its rich and storied past. The Anti-Saloon League The Anti-Saloon League, an influential American political organization, staunchly advocated for the prohibition of alcohol. Its establishment dates back to 1893, and it swiftly emerged as a formidable force in the realm of politics. Operating with particular vigor in the Midwest, the League played a pivotal role in shepherding the enactment of numerous state-level prohibition laws. However, their ultimate objective was to secure a blanket prohibition across the entire nation. In pursuit of this goal, the League engaged in relentless campaigns to push for the ratification of the 18th Amendment. Although the amendment initially encountered significant opposition, the League's unwavering lobbying and advocacy efforts eventually culminated in its ratification in 1919. Thanks to the tenacity of the Anti-Saloon League, prohibition was firmly established as the law of the land, effectively rendering alcoholic beverages illegal throughout the United States. Poker in the Wild West During the late 1800s, poker reigned supreme as the primary gambling activity in the American West. In saloons, outlaws, and lawmen alike frequently congregated to engage in card games, where fortunes could be made or lost with each pivotal turn of the cards. Yet poker wasn't merely a means of passing the time. It also doubled as a source of entertainment. In an era characterized by a dearth of recreational options, poker offered a platform for socialization and the showcasing of one's gaming prowess. Additionally, given that poker hinges on both skill and chance, it allowed individuals to embrace risk and put their luck to the test. For many residents of the Western United States, poker held a pivotal role in their lives. Today, poker endures as a popular form of gambling, though it may have lost some of its former luster. With a plethora of alternative entertainment choices available, poker now occupies a place alongside various other options. Nonetheless, it continues to attract those who relish taking risks and challenging their fortunes, offering a timeless pastime for enthusiasts. The California Gold Rush The California Gold Rush stands as one of the pivotal events in American history, igniting in 1848 with the discovery of gold at Sutter's Mill. The news of this discovery spread like wildfire, drawing thousands of individuals from across the globe to converge on California in a fervent quest for the precious metal. This sudden influx of people had a profound and lasting impact on the state. The gold rush triggered a remarkable surge in trade commerce and a substantial spike in inflation rates. By the year 1850, California's population had skyrocketed to over 200,000, solidifying its reputation as one of the fastest-growing states in the nation. This fervor for gold persisted until 1855, when gold production began to dwindle. Although its duration was relatively short, 
the gold rush left an indelible mark on California and the broader American West, forever altering the course of history. Rufus Buck Gang between 1896 and 1897, a reign of terror swept through Indian Territory, which is now present-day Oklahoma, as the Rufus Buck Gang ran rampant. Comprised of both Native Americans and African Americans, this notorious gang embarked on a spree of robberies and homicides. Their reign of terror was brought to a halt following a violent shootout with law enforcement, resulting in the tragic loss of two officers' lives. In the aftermath, the gang's leader, Rufus Buck, met his end at the hangman's noose in July 1897. The saga of the Rufus Buck gang stands as a haunting chapter in the annals of outlaw history in the American West. It serves as a stark reminder of the violence and chaos that plagued the frontier territories during the late 19th century. Crazy Horse. During the late 1800s, a Lakota warrior by the name of Crazy Horse emerged as a revered leader among his people, renowned for his unwavering courage and exceptional combat prowess. He fearlessly led his tribe to victory in numerous confrontations against the United States Army. Yet, it was in the Battle of the Little Bighorn that Crazy Horse achieved his most significant triumph as he and his warriors emerged victorious against General George Custer and his troops. This resounding victory elevated Crazy Horse to a symbol of hope for Native Americans who were fiercely battling to preserve their land and cherished way of life. Crazy Horse's triumphs marked him as a target for the U.S. government, ultimately leading to his tragic demise in 1877 when he was killed while attempting to escape captivity. Despite his heartbreaking end, Crazy Horse continues to hold a vital place in Native American history, serving as an enduring symbol of resilience and resistance. Black Canyon, Colorado Colorado's Black Canyon is a rugged and untamed expanse characterized by its steep terrain. Dominating the landscape are towering canyon walls primarily composed of Precambrian gneiss and schist, rocks that have endured for over two billion years. This remarkable canyon plunges to depths of approximately 1,000 feet and spans a width of two miles at its broadest stretch. Its distinctive contours have been sculpted over time by the relentless flow of the Gunnison River, which meanders through the heart of the canyon. The Black Canyon boasts a rich and vibrant history, with Native American communities inhabiting its confines for centuries prior to the arrival of European settlers. Although Spanish explorers likely glimpsed its grandeur in the 1500s, it wasn't until 1806 that the canyon was truly discovered by American pioneers. During that year, Lieutenant Zebulon Pike led an expedition into the region, motivated by the quest for the legendary lost city of Quivira. While Pike didn't stumble upon any lost cities, he did etch his name in history as the first recorded individual to venture into the depths of the Black Canyon. Since Pike's pioneering journey, the canyon has become a sought-after destination for adventurers, settlers, and tourists alike. The Inkowski Day Use area, situated near the southern rim of the canyon, pays tribute to John C. Ingersoll who operated a stagecoach station there in the late 1800s. Today, visitors have the opportunity to partake in activities such as hiking, camping, fishing, and bird watching within the boundaries of the Black Canyon National Park. And that's all for today's video. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Which aspect of the American Old West intrigues you the most, or do you have any stories or figures from this era that you find particularly captivating? Share your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the American Old West, remember to like and subscribe to stay updated with our future content. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, bye.